Hi everyone, my name is Javier, Community Engagement Librarian here at LaPorte County Public Library. And this is my special guest, Lily, who happens to be my daughter. Hi. We're very happy to provide this STEAM DIY lava experiment to you. What is STEAM? STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. It's a philosophy of education that embraces teaching and skills and the subject in a way that resembles real life. STEAM aims to spark an interest and lifelong love of the arts and sciences in children from an early age. These subjects involve creative processes and none of them use just one method of inquiry and investigation. To participate, you'll need the following materials. One empty bottle, about nine ounces of vegetable oil, about three ounces of water, some food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. If you don't have an Alka-Seltzer tablet, you can substitute baking soda and vinegar. So to start off, we're gonna fill up the bottle about three-fourths of the way. Do you know where three-fourths is? Here. That's right. All right, go ahead and fill it up to that spot right there. Great job. All right, now we have to fill up the rest with water. All right, so go ahead and do that, but leave a little space on top. But before we do that, what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna explode. Let's see. All right, so here, go ahead and add the water. All, almost to the top, okay? Nice and easy. Wow, look at that. See how it moves to the bottom? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now we have to add the food coloring, okay? So let's go ahead and add 10 drops. But before we do that, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to explode? No, it's not always going to explode. <laughs> okay, but we'll see, all right? So let's go ahead and do 10 drops. Okay. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. And uh, and look what happened to the food coloring. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. So maybe let's go ahead and stir that up a little bit. Let's see. So yeah. Shake it. Shake it. That looks pretty cool, huh? Oh, wait, the red is for the... <laughs> All right, so now the final step, go ahead and add one-fourth of an Alka-Seltzer tablet to the bottle. You ready? Yeah. All right, but first, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to explode! Oh my gosh, what's exploding? All right. <laughs> go ahead, let's see. We have to wait. Might... Okay. So it, the, the thing so it's can making like a bubbles. Yeah, it's making bubbles. Oh, I can see it at the bottom. Look at some of the some of these red things are starting to come up. Wait, the alka thing that we put in there, it's making that stuff not go to the top. It's making it circle around. Yeah. Is that true though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, let me see. Let's go ahead and cap it up. Nice and easy. All right, shake it just a little bit. All right, all right, let's go. Good, so doing the same thing. That's pretty cool though, right? You see how like all these little bubbles, they float to the top and they come down. I think what this bottle needs is a little bit more Alka-Seltzer. Let's, really, let's really get the bottles going. Go ahead, you do it. Jump all the Just kidding. All right. I'll jump okay. one at a time. So one's oh, look at now the bubbles are really starting to happen, right? Oh, get back. Get back. No, uh, put the other one in. Let's see. All right. The 
balls are usually just dropping down. Once it goes up, it goes down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you kind of hear that? Yeah, I can hear it. Like, it's it's kind of like pop when you open yeah, it. Yeah, like when you... Do you think it's going to overflow? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Can you see how like all the red was supposed to be down here and the yellow was up here? But like you see it like floats to the top and then it's like a whole bunch of little... Little red bubbles just kind of float on down. If you get your ears close to it, it's kind of like going like. It's like, it's like get me out of here. So it looks like these little ball thingies right here are taking on the red. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it used to be like right to here, and now it's to here. I feel like it's really starting to pick up now. Like it's catching a second wind. It's like catching a fire. Yeah. That's awesome, right? But why do you think it does that? That's okay. You see, oil and water don't mix because they have different polarities. As you can see here, water is a polar molecule and vegetable oil is a nonpolar. And water tends to sink below oil because it is heavier. Scientifically speaking, it's denser. Food coloring has similar characteristics as water. Therefore, those two do mix. But what about the lava? Well, when the Alka-Seltzer reacts with the mixture, it creates tiny bubbles, as you saw a second ago, of carbon dioxide that latch to the colored water mixture. Think of this like one of those birthday balloons that just floats around. The colored water mixture tends to just float all the way to the top, but when it reaches the top, it pops. And then the water mixture sinks back to the bottom to attach to some more of the, of the carbon dioxide bubbles. We're happy you joined us, and we hope you learned something and had fun. Please share your lava bottle creations in the comments in this post using the hashtag MyLPLibrary. We'd love to see them. Keep reading and recording your reading days this summer. Keep checking our social media as well as our website for other awesome programs. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And after you're done with it, you can just kind of like play around with it and make it like a wavy lamp.